Welcome guys, let's have a feel of Android UI. We'll be focusing on the Android Material Design Sliding Tab Layout. Uh, what about we're going to have an effect of this nature where well, we're going to mimic the WhatsApp uh, toolbar, the tab and uh, the phone. You know, uh, we're going to, we can extend more on this what about we can have a collapsing effect on the first layer. Now we're having two layers here. The sliding tab layout is the second, while the toolbar is right there on the top. You know, we can uh, unscroll off a recycler list. Uh, this is actually going to collapse. That will be the second part of this magnificent UI. Uh, so how are we going to have this uh, setup uh, and have these integrated in your application? I'll be uh, showing you on each steps and uh, modules to follow to actually achieve this uh, kind of UI. Focus will start from the build gradle. Uh, you just need the compile, the app compiled version 7, 25.3.1. Just that will be fine. Uh, you may add card view, cycle view, and so on if you need to add more to the structure of the UI. But I'll be focusing on the app compact library. From here, we have the layout files, activity main. And the tabs, you know, which will be the fragments, are uh, the calls.xml, charts.xml, and the status. Just uh, following the header, we're going to be having three tabs. And uh, we're going to be having the toolbar XML, which is the top bar of the UI. Let's start from the activity main. Uh, that's a linear layout where we include the toolbar and uh, we have the sliding tab layout underneath the toolbar. Afterwards, we have the view pager, which serves like a frame that houses the details of each tab. The linear layout actually calls the context, which is the main activity. We have a structure this way. Let's get to look at the toolbar. This from the support version 7 widgets, where we have the layout with tonight match parent, where the height make it wrap content so that it's going to wrap around the contents you're presenting at the tuber. And we set a background color to this, you know, picking the default colors, which is the blue color. Now, a look at the calls as I made. These are the tabs, you know, for each title. It's a relative layout with a text just uh, this we actually house if you are adding a recycler view to this particular tab. We are doing some other art effects, bringing an exo player, or you're just uh, displaying mere text. This structure we handle the first tab. While for the second, which is chat, the same look and feel, and the status, just the same look and feel. That's the structure of the layout. Let's get to look at the values where we're going to have the colors that were used. You know, try to add up all colors, name used to write the application in this XML file. Likewise for the strings and the styles, uh, these are the theme that the application is actually going to use up. You know, So that's uh, we have the no action bar and uh, you specifically pick the no action bar you know, theme so that uh, you can be able to use the app bar uh, right there in the Java class. So from here, I'll be adding streets no, let's look at the menu. We have some menu aspects right there at the top bar, which we have the uh, search icon, we have the uh, profile, and even we have the overflow, which shows more details, you know, right there at the top bar. So that sits right there at the main menu, main XML, uh, where we have items that were are called on, you know, actually created from the search, you have the drawable where you can actually create um, the vector assets. I think I've covered this in previous tutorials and call in the uh, search icon, the uh, profile you know, icon you know, that were used at the top super upper mode. So now we will be straight to Java classes. Uh, we have class, classes that actually support uh, the layout that was created. Uh, the fragment for the calls, the fragment for the charts, and uh, the status 
fragments. These are the three fragments that will be used as the layout. And they will be inflated from the main activity. We only have one activity in this application with three fragments. So to start from the main activity, which is the single activity we have, uh, this I'll be following the comments you know, from where I explain the code. Uh, these actually have uh, the fields of the toolbar, the pager, the adapter, the tabs and titles that were used. You know, and the number of tabs, which will be three number. Uh, we're going to be looking at the sliding tab layout that actually uh, brings uh, the effects right there from this particular GitHub link. Uh, actually used a snippet from here, the sliding tab strip and the sliding tab layout. You can check that out from the URL uh, shown above. This is where we actually get uh, the effect and we make a tweak right inside this boilerplate code that serves as a structure for the general tab uh, view of Android. It's quite good. You can please lay your hands on this. So from there, you pick them up and you head straight back to your code. We're going to, I'll show you where they were used. And uh, we have the create that actually uh, calls on the toolbar, set action bar. We create the view page adapter and pass the fragments. If you're familiar with fragments, this shouldn't be a worry. We assign the view page, uh, which serves as a frame right underneath uh, to the adapter which was created and we also assigned the sliding tab layout i can see that the class i actually showed you from the uh github you pick them just copy them you know and create a class called the sliding tab layout and a class called the sliding tab strip you know, and pass them here we we'll only make a few tweaks uh, which i'll be showing you uh, before the end of the tutorial just pass them into these two classes the sliding tab layout and the sliding tab strip so we'll make the tabs fixed to set this true. You now this makes the tab space evenly. That the set distributes evenly, and we set the custom color, uh, which is white, to the indicator of the tab view, and uh, the view pager for the sliding tabs layout as well. We have the uncreate options menu. You know this is actually for the menu, uh, which which we have the layout, the menu, the menu main. And uh, we have the action search as a point of usage because we need that to uh, at least draw out the line to search up for anything. You know? So we created the find item right there on it. And the on options item selected is for the settings, which is for the overflow and the search. Uh, you need to implement uh, two other methods, which is the on create text submit and the text change, which is for the search because we implemented the onquery text listener to make the search uh, workable. Let's get to look at the fragments. We have the calls fragments, which actually houses for all calls. You know, it's like an activity, but right there, it's a fragment right inside an activity. We have for the charts. You know, so this is quite good. It's going to help you out in working on different uh, fragments. You know not modeled up you have like a different fragment handling different view and for the status fragment now let's see the page adapter that actually binds this fragment up to the activity this extends the fragment state page adapter where we have the character sequence for the titles and the number of tabs used and uh, we build a constructor and assign the past values to appropriate value in the class. You know? So actually, that's the constructor of the page adapter. Uh, this method returns the fragment to every position in the view page. That's, we actually assign position view to each of these tabs. The first position uh, for chat tab, which is a fragment. The first position, you know, when we talk about uh, arrays, we start from zero and it increments so that's just what we did for the first and definitely this we have only one left which is for the course fragments so this is how we instantiate those fragments and pass their position so you now return the titles of the tabs 
number, you get the page size right there and count the number of tabs used. So this actually is an adapter that supports those fragments and uh, ties them up with the main activity. So that's just the structure of this application. The main uh, boilerplate here is the still tab layout that actually did the deep uh, work and this uh, classes are used majorly with view pages so you have to have a page that's why we have the view page adapter actually made this work and uh, we actually uh, set some tweak right there right there in the populate tab strip method you know, we passed in a selector which is XML that actually made this happen or uh, these are uh, below line that made the change can you see on focus we have the white color right there on the title once we swipe to another one this closes up and have the focus on what we have now so this actually made that happen when we get the selector let's see how the selector is right there in the color folder and uh, we have for the state selected the state focused and when pressed, you know, this is, these are just uh, changes when uh, you are having when focused, compressed, and unselected. You know. So that actually undoes that, and it's been passed right there in this in a method called properly tab strip right there on the where we call it the tab title view to set the text color and set the text size right there of each title to 14 SP. It's just that uh, that's the full uh, rundown of this uh, application and this uh, UI. And we're going to probably extend more on this. Well, but we're going to, as I've said earlier, try to have a recycler of list items and on scroll of each one of the recycler view, which will have a collapsing uh, effect right there at the toolbar. So this will replace the toolbar. So that's fine. So try the as much as possible tweak your UI, use the material designs to the fullest. This works uh, even with tabs, you know, it resizes and sits right there. Just that you need to create a layout uh, right inside the activity made that places for the tab and that's just fine, which definitely I'll show you how to do that in the subsequent video. Thank you very much for hanging out with me uh, to others uh, tutorial. I'll upload the source code to my GitHub account and uh, uh, you can pick it from there and use it free. Take good care of yourself.